Hey guys, uh, welcome to the second video for the review of the Master Grade Sword Impulse 100 scale. Uh, today we'll be looking at the accessories that comes with the Master Grade Sword Impulse, as well as the Sword Silhouette Backpack. So, first off, we'll take a look at the shield. Basic shield, uh, sl parts slide out here and here. Nice detail on here. Um, can't really see it, but yeah. All parts are detailed with a gun marker. And on the white parts, I uh, use lead pencil. A uh, better example is seen on the back. Which I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me turn off the light. Yeah, this is a better example. You can see how lead pencil works as a good panel liner for white parts. And you can kind of see it better, but I prefer using the light. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here at the back, this part swivels. It can be adjusted for the chest flyer and for usage with the uh, Uses, usage as an actual shield. So it can be used like this. And also the handle at the bottom here can can be used as, in conjunction with the little plug. So you can have the impulse hold the little handle here as well as, as long as it's plugged in. So take a look at it. Also the parts when it slides out are kind of loose. It's kind of annoying, but it doesn't fall out well if you use force enough force and gravity will make have its toll on here so that, uh, gravity is an annoying part with this Gundam I'll get into that later on so that does it for the shield next up is the beam rifle basic zapped beam rifle um, nice detail, all panel lined with gun marker. Touched up with a gray gun marker. So the scope on here is white for some reason. That doesn't really make any sense to me. But goes up here and swivels like that. As uh, like that. Also. The handle can swivel this way and this way as well. There's a little peg here. There you go. Um, that can be, that <coughs> excuse me that can be placed into the pegs found in both hands. Uh, the manipulated the manipulated manipulatable hands as well as the closed ha weapon hands. So it will stay nice and snug when they're placed into the when the weapon is placed into the hands. So gives you that, that much posability and less worry. Also has a peg at the back so you can uh, place it right onto the back of the sword impulse. Take a look at this again. Also there is only one red part on here. thought it was pretty nice to uh, see it everything other than gray and white on here. Next up is the sword silhouette. As you may notice, the Excalibur anti-ship swords. Ah, oh, yeah, you can feel that. You can feel the happiness about it, so. Also here is the Salt flyer basically attaches here at the bottom, slides right out as so, and you can push this part right back in, and it'll just fly off because no one really cares about that. And we take a look at the silhouette backpack, pretty nice. Uh, you have the wings here. That double as a boomerang for the certain impulse. 
when it is in mobile suit form. So basically throw it as such. Also, these parts come off and they double as a beam saber slash beam boomerang. So just take the beam effect parts, attach it right in here, and boom. Can be used to attack or be thrown as such. So put the beam part here and put it right back into the boomerang wings. The silhouette backpack is nicely detailed. Can move. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it, but slide down and be pushed in and can be equipped on the sword impulse. Just attach these and attach these pegs onto the back of the sword impulse and move the swords to the back and basically you're done. Just attach the wings and this little peg slides up. Then there you go. I'll get more into the transformation later on. But here is the thing that everyone who picks up the sword impulse must cherish and love the Excalibur anti-ship swords. These are com completely or er, somewhat. These are modified versions of the one that ca came with the Force Impulse Gundam, as it is longer. It doesn't look longer, but it can slide to become longer. Yep. Also, uh, here uh, there's additional additional piece of detail here. Uh, the handle, the main handle, is, is actually black now, so it's more anime accurate, to be honest. Also, take off the second sword. Oh, sorry. Oops, uh, part came off. I am extremely clumsy. Okay. There, there is a peg at the bottom of each handle and another hole here also on both swords they can combine to become one so you, you can have some amazing epic poses like this and yeah it's a really interesting uh, feature you might have noticed that on my uh... The, on the last video of the work in progress so yeah Everything's been nicely detailed. Let me turn off the light so you can see the white panel line, or the the gray lead pencil on the panel lines. Looks really nice. So let me turn the lights back on and let the camera adjust a bit. Also, you have the beam effect parts that go right in here. So, catch it right in, and here, and here, and here. You also have an additional beam effect part for the top. So, it's completely like this. So, it's more stabby stabby action, other than slashy slashy. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Overall, really nice accessories for the Sword Impulse. I am, even though it doesn't come with a lot, it comes with a lot. And this is more than enough. Uh, I kind of wish they would re would have released it with the Blast Impulse, um, with the Blast Silhouette, just like for the Sword, the sword uh, Strike and the, um, for, forgot what it was called. Uh, forgot the sword. Gun uh, forgot the the strike version of the blast impulse. Forgot that name. Um, anyways, uh, it should have came with it, I thought, but oh well. This was, these two were more than enough. Ah, so happy. <laughs> anyways, uh, this concludes the video. Um, stay tuned for the next video, which will be 
uh, the actual Gundam in its all its armor and glory. Alright guys, see ya.